Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel 100% Pure Alvis. This is part two of my Alvis Presley vinyl collection, part one. I uploaded a couple of nights ago. As promised, this is part two. Again, I'm going to do the same format. I'm not going to show the vinyls inside. I'm just going to show the front and back covers of each of the vinyls that I have. There is quite a few to get through, so please bear with me. The first one is quite a recent addition to my collection and it is titled Alvis in Hollywood. It is an import edition. Let me just zoom closer in there for you. Again, most of the vinyls that I am going to be showing you on this upload, I have done separate uploads for as well. So if you want any additional information about any of the vinyls, either go back to the separate uploads or ask me in the comments below and I will do a more robust review of the vinyl itself. So, great album this is, Alphys in Hollywood. Great, some great images of Alphys there on the front. On the back, it's got your track listing and Alphys in Hollywood. So that is vinyl number one. Number two, is a picture disc. And again, great image of Alvis there from the 1950s. And on the back, Alvis Presley teddy bear. And again, with the track listing, this is the only picture disc that I have in my collection. The third is If I Can Dream with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. This is a gatefold edition on two vinyls. I love that image of Alvis there on the front cover. On the back, again, got your track listing and another great image of Alvis there in the recording studio. And this comes on the RCA Legacy label. Next, again, is a recent addition to my collection. Alvis Presley, today, tomorrow, and forever. As you can see, it says here at the bottom, never released on, e on LP. And again, another great image of Alvis from the movie years. On the back, promoting other Alvis Presley vinyl releases with the track listing on the left. Let's get at the next I have. It's a two, two LP set called Double Dynamite. Again, great image of Alvis there from the 1950s. This is a gatefold edition and it comes with a free poster inside. And on the back is exactly the same as the front with the track listing on either side. Next in my collection, Alvis Gold, again gatefold edition, is a double 180 gram vinyl on two LPs. It's a, uh, and on the back, as you can see, the text is all the information about Alvis's career and the track listing with, in the background, a silhouette of Alvis from the 1950s. The next is a gospel album, Alvis. And again, I do love that front cover image there. And this is a budget release on the Camden label. On the back, as you can see, it's titled You'll Never Walk Alone with the track listing there. The next is a 1970s album. This is a reissue of Promised Land. One of my favourite albums from the... Um, 1970s on the back the track listing now again i have uploaded this in my vinyl collection part one this is a total different vinyl so i've got various various um different vinyls on some titles and unlike some people, I I don't keep them in 
alphabetical order or I don't keep them all together the same title. I just put my collection, when I buy vinyl, goes in there. So that is Alvis Promise Land. Again, the next one. Again, is another upload from part one, but this is a different vinyl from that, Alphys In Demand. This is an import edition. And on the back, the track listing. And I just, I love this 1970s logo of Alvis. Next. Alvis sings hits from his movies, plus two recent hits. Image there from 1970, I believe. Again, on the budget label Camden via RCA. And on the back, I just, just showed you this one. And it's, again, the track listing with another great image of Elvis. And next is the classic Elvis Presley, the 50 greatest hits on gatefold vinyl. Two LPs inside. It has to be one of my favourite album cover images of of the greatest hits of Alvis on the back just a track listing with two pictures of Alvis there from the 1950s and next is the reissue of on stage on the music on vinyl label again it's on 180 gram vinyl it's again as you can see 180 gram vinyl on the music on vinyl label on the back exactly the same the track listing and next again is a recent addition to my collection Elvis Presley number ones in the USA and UK great front cover mirrored image there and on the back and this comes on beautiful red vinyl. The next is a Record Store Day release. And it is the fantastic album, I'm Leaving. And again, quite a rare album now to get a hold of. And again, I love this. I just love that image there of Elvis on the back. Another great image from the 68 special with the track listing. So there we have I'm Leaving. Next. Again, another reissue. Alphys is back. This is on Gatefold. And again, it comes with extra Alphys photos inside. On the back, as you can see, a photo of Alphys there in the army. Track listing down below. And this comes on the Wax Time label. The next is, again, Elvis, 40 original tracks, 40 greatest, including his number one hits. And this is a gatefold vinyl on special pink pressing. So two LPs on beautiful pink vinyl. And on the back, the track listing. So there we have Elvis, 40 greatest. Next, Alvis Sings for Children and Grown Ups 2. Not a favourite album of mine, I just, I'm not overly keen. But, okay, great image on the front. And on the back, another great image of Alvis there in concert and the track listing. Track listing isn't that bad, but I just don't like the design of this LP. Next, we have another album from the 70s. The Fall album with its original sticker, which is now quite a, quite hard to get a hold of. And again, image of Elvis there from Aloha from Hawaii on the back. Track listing and promoting two more Elvis albums at the bottom. Next, Moody Blue. I've got the next few are Moody Blue, but they're all different. So this one, Moody Blue, with the original contains the hits Moody Blue and Way Down. And as you can see, it's still got its shrink wrap, half of it on, on the back. Again, just your standard track listing with an image of Elvis in concert. 
next one is the original release of Alphys Moody Blue. This is on black vinyl and the same on the back. Next, I get Moody Blue and it's the same on the back, but this is an import edition. The next one I've got is His Hand in Mine. This comes on 180 gram high quality vinyl. This is a re-release of a great this great album. Again, on the back, the track listing. Next, I've got a budget release called The King. So a great image of Alvis there from the movie Change of Habits. You've got the track listing on the front here. Comes on the Camden label, which is the budget label. And on the back, again, the track listing with some text. Side one, side two. The next few are Aloha from Hawaii. They're all very different. So this is the original two LP set from 1973, gatefold edition on two sets of vinyl. And on the back, the next is the four LP edition. This is my favorite one out of the lower from Hawaii that I have. And on the back, it's quite a heavy one. And as you can see, it's got four LPs inside and Again, great image of Elvis there from the Aloha from Hawaii concert. Next is the most recent release of Aloha from Hawaii from 2023. And this is to celebrate the 50th anniversary. This again is on gatefold vinyl, consisting of two LPs. On the back, it's on the Le RCA Legacy al um, label. Next is having fun with Alphys on stage. Again, quite a rare album. On the back, I just love that. Alphys concerts, 1970 to 74, sold out. The next one again is quite a recent addition to my collection. It's in foreign writing, so again, it's Elvis Presley, and I think this it's 40 Greatest Hits. Again, it consists of two albums, and on the back, this is a gatefold edition. I will show you the middle, because I've not uploaded this one before, and that's the middle. So there we have, again, Elvis Presley, 40 Greatest Hits. The next one is a reissue. Something for Everybody on 180 gram vinyl. On the back, information about the album, some great images of Elvis and the track listing at the top. The next is Elvis Presley's second album, Elvis. And again, this is the reissue I believe it's a reissue and a, a great image of Elvis there I think that's from the movie Love Me Tender on the back the track listing and more text about Elvis the next is the searcher to accompany the documentary of the same name the soundtrack it's a gatefold vinyl the back, fantastic image of Elvis there from the, I think that's from the late 1950s with the track listing. The next is a budget release on Pickwick titled Frankie and Johnny. Great image of Elvis there from 1970 on the front with the track listing there. And the back, great images of Elvis from the concert, a lower from Hawaii with the track listing on the back. And next is The Sound of Your Cry. Again, 
great image of Elvis there from Malone from Hawaii. The songs that are included on the vinyl from the back. There you go, better image of that uh, photo of Elvis there in concert with the track listing down the left. The next again is another budget release titled Easy Come, Easy Go on the Camden label. An image of Elvis there from his wedding, I believe. Track listing as well there on the back. Nothing much to talk about. Track listing and some information below. The next, again, is a record store day release. Alvis sings Bob Dylan, The Beatles, Ray Charles, BG, Simon O'Garf, Funkel, Chuck Berry, Middle Waters, Credence, Clearwater, Revival, and more. Again, gatefold vinyl. Great image of Alvis from the rehearsals for That's the Way It Is. On the back, the track listing across two sets of vinyl, and this comes on the Music on Vinyl label. Next is a recent release, Alvis Live 1972. Again, gatefold edition, and I love that image of Alvis. I think that image is from 1972, I believe. Yeah, of course it is. It says Live 1972 on the back. Again, great image of Alvis track listing, and I will show you the gatefold of this because I've not seen it before. I've not uploaded it before, and. Just outstanding images inside. The next I have, again, is on a budget label, Alvis Presley Inspirations, a gospel album. I love this image here of Alvis, whoever's done this um, great art photo, amazing. I love the font at the top, <clears throat> on the back, Again, the track listing, quite a lot of text about the album from Todd Slaughter from the Elvis Presley official fan club of Great Britain and promoting more Elvis albums down the bottom. The next is another budget release, but again, performed so well for Elvis. And it is called The US Mail, a 1975 release. Great image there from Aloha from Hawaii. On the back, the track listing, and just more text down below. Next in my collection is actually a favourite of mine. It's called Alvis I Can Help and Other Great Hits. A great image of Alvis there from the 1950s. Tells you some of the tracks down the side, on the back. I just love this image of Alvis here, uh, going on his going to the front of the stage, talking to the fans, and I absolutely adore the track listing on this. I'd let me just zoom in. The track listing on this final is second to none. So there we have Alvis. I can help. And next again is another budget release. Alvis burning love and hits from his movies. <coughs> Again, I think the image of Alvis there is from around 1972 in concert. On the back, you have the track listing here, promoting Alvis Aloha from Hawaii and other Alvis vinyl releases that were available to purchase at the time. Next, we again, we have Promised Land. This is a reissue on 180 gram vinyl. And on the back, the track listing is a limited edition. As you can see, my limited edition number is 1836. And this comes on beautiful clear vinyl. So I love this album, Promised Land. Such a great album. The next is a recent addition to my collection and again this is a reissue reissue from Elvis Presley Boulevard Memphis Tennessee it comes on beautiful blue vinyl and again I love this image of Elvis that's from 1975 on the back it's just your standard track listing for the album and the 
my issue number is 1446 out of 4,000 issued worldwide. And it is on the Music on Vinyl label. Next. Alvis's Christmas album. Again, I've got a few of these in my collection. So, great image of Alvis there in the middle. That's, I think, a movie still. Track listing on the back. And this is on the Camden label. The next is exactly the same album, but with a different front sleeve. Let me just get... There we go. Again, Alvis's Christmas album. I prefer this front cover to the last one. And this comes on the Camden label again, International. And slightly different, well, very different on the back there from the previous one. The next, again, is Alvis's Christmas album. This comes on beautiful mint green vinyl this is a gatefold edition but with just one album inside and as you can see limited edition green vinyl i have done a separate upload for this many months ago so if you want to look at how the vinyl looks inside please go and check out that upload it's such a great vinyl to look at it's gatefold edition as well this is on the back a great image of Alvis from the 50s with the standard track listing from Alvis's Christmas album. The next is exactly the same album, but the reissue for this year, 2023. So again, Alvis's Christmas album on the back, exactly the same as the previous one with the track listing at the top. So that's the 2023 on the RCA Legacy label. The next is another Record Store Day release titled Alphys Presley Burning Love, the RCA Rehearsals. As you can see, Record Store Day, and it is on a 3LP set, 50th anniversary edition. And as you can see in rehearsals there, backstage. And on the back, the track listing. Again, it's a gatefold edition and it's on the RCA Legacy label. The next is another budget release. Alvis Sings Flaming Star. And this comes on the RCA Camden International label. Great image of Alvis there from the movie Stay Away Joe. Track listing here on the back. Promoting more Alvis Presley releases at that time with the track listing just at the top right here. So there we have Alvis Sings Flaming Star. The next one is um, an import from Bulgaria. And it is simply titled Alvis Presley Rock and Roll. Purchased this at a vinyl fair. And again, can't remember how much I paid for it. But um, hadn't seen it before. But great image of Alvis there from the 1950s. And on the back, and such a, I love that, such another great image. The track listing, side A, side B. Go down here, as you can see. Made in Bulgaria. It is the Bulgarian release. The next is my favourite concert. Alvis, the alternate Aloha. Out of the two concerts Alvis did, the alternate Aloha is my favourite. I thought Alvis looked more relaxed, was in better voice. So again... And I, I actually love the, the, the design of this front cover sleeve for the alternate Aloha. What's your opinions on the back? You've just got the track listing, which you can't see that. I'm just zooming. You've just got the track listing there. The next is a 3LP set. It's not a gatefold. It's just a 3LP set. Again, I think this is from 1975. Um, 
a well-recognized image of Elvis there from Aloha from Hawaii. As you can see, it's on the Camden label, a budget label, three record set, exactly the same on the back. And next we have is Alvis, August 26th, 1969, International Hotel, Las Vegas, Nevada. This is a recent release. It's on a gatefold. And I just such a great image of Alvis there from 1969. And on the back, another great image of Alvis. It's again, track listing. Here, down the left, text there about the concert itself and it's on the RCA Legacy label. So there we have Alvis at the International Hotel, Las Vegas, Nevada. Next again is an album which is duplicated but from very different the full album again with the full sticker on the front and on the back Again, exactly the same, but this is um, a reissued, released in a different year. Next one is the brilliant Alvis Country. And I just love this album. I love the front cover. A very young Alvis there at age two with his parents. On the back. Oh, look at that, eh? So on the back, let me get that out. And on the back, you've got the track listing with an, another great image of Alvis there in concert. And this here is a magazine that, that is New Musical Express promoting the Alvis film with Austin Butler. And this actually now is quite rare to get a hold of, so I like to keep it in um, good condition. So I've decided to put it in the back of this vinyl. So there we have Alphys Country. Next, we have, again, his hand in mine. This is very rare. This is on the Follow That Dream label. And as you can see, it is on a 2LP edition. Very rare indeed. But again, it is, it is on gatefold. But for me, it is such a beautiful addition to my collection. Track listing down the right hand side across the two vinyls and more information about the album itself. And this is on the Follow That Dream label via RCA. Not much more to go on part two of my vinyl collection. And next one I have, Alvis Now. Again, a great image of Alvis there from 1970 in concert. And on the back, <clears throat> track listing side one, side two, and promoting the two Elvis Presley vinyl box sets. Again, I do like this album, Elvis Now. Next, again, we have another edition of Good Times. Again, this is from, an, from another country with its original HMV sticker at the top right there. And on the back, the track listing, uh, such a great album, Good Times. The next and final one is Alvis Raised on Rock, or also known as For Old Time Sake. Again, such a great image of Alvis there in concert. And on the back, you've just got the same image, but at the bottom, the track listing itself. So there we have part two 
of my Elvis Presley vinyl collection. How many of these do you have in your collection? Have you seen all of these before? Some of them are quite rare. If you want any additional information on any, any specific one in particular, please leave in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you have enjoyed looking through part two of my vinyl collection. Part three will be uploaded tomorrow night. And again, as I always say, I share my collection with fellow Alvis fans because of my love for Alvis. And obviously there's some Alvis fans that are not fortunate enough to have these in their collection. And I just like to show them just to see what I have in my collection and if there were any additional information I'm more than happy to talk about any album in particular you would want me to talk about. As always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, 100% Pure Alvis, please subscribe. Give me a massive thumbs up. It helps make my channel grow. To everyone else who has supported me along the way, again, thank you so much for all of your ongoing support. It really means a lot to me. And as always, keep on playing Elvis's music. Please keep his memory alive and I will speak to you all soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.